Hey guys, what is up? It's Angus95 here again with a uh, Brawlbox tutorial this time. Um, Brawlbox is a really useful application which you're going to use to change your animations, make new textures, and do all sorts of cool stuff. Um, you can even do stage edits. I don't know how to do that yet, so uh, I'm just going to talk to you about texture and animations. <clears throat> uh, this is the Brawlbox that I use right now, Monset 4.2. I only use it because um, you can drag and drop animations instead of just typing in um, coordinates on the X, Y plane and Z too. Actually, it's three three D plane. Um, this is really useful. Um, just make sure that you download it. Um, yeah, that's that actually concludes that portion of the uh, tutorial. Um, in here, this is the same desktop PSA and Brawl box. You're going to find Brawlbox, uh, here it is, 0.63D, that's the one I'm going to use for today. I don't remember where I put Monset 4.2, um, but <coughs> it's there, it's much better and useful, but 6.3 is going to work for work fine for now. Um, I'm going to open it up, and it's pretty easy. Um, you just open it up, and there you go, it's, it's pretty simple. You're going to go File, Open. And we're gonna go back, back into PSA and Brawl Box. PM Fighter. That's Project M Fighter, the Fighter folder. This is another Fighter folder, but I don't use that one. So this is where all the information for all the characters is gonna be. And if you remember last time, I said that the motion, etc. Pack is what's really gonna be helpful. Um, that's absolutely the case here. So motion, etc. This is for Mewtwo. Um, you can take a look at this, but if you're looking in the motion pack um, before you do anything else, you can't actually do anything. You can check them out, but it's really just data files. What you actually have to do is you go open, and you actually open um, fitlucario00.pack or PCS, whichever. You go to the, you can check out the texture data if you want to. So like here, look, here's the eye, tail, face, body. All of these things could be exported. Um, <coughs> that's really weird. <laughs> it's his mouth. Um, could be exported and be changed in a program like Photoshop or GIMP. So here, I'm going to uh, export his mouth. We're going to go to Edit, Export. You can edit as a PNG, TGA. Usually, a PNG is going to be your best bet. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but once you put it up, um, you could do that, and you could say edit, and you could replace it. So if we look in, what is it, PM Fighter, we're not going to look in there. We're going to go back to PSA and Brawlbox, 0.63D, exports and imports. It's like Fit Pit Body. Here's like a, I was trying to make a African-American black pit, interestingly enough, and I tried to do something with Sonic, but I decided to stop. I just got bored. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Sorry about that. <coughs> Sorry. PNG is going to be your best bet. I'm going to cancel that. Um, and so, yeah, this is all of his, you know, important stuff. Um, but the real interesting part is if you go here, you open it up. Let me close this. When you go to the first model data, we're going to go 3D models, and we're going to look at this one right here. We're actually going to click preview, right click preview. We're going to open this up big. You can press the equals key to zoom in and the minus key to zoom out. You click to you click right click to drag. If you click control right click, you can move him around and rotate him a little bit. So open this up, open this up, open this up, and open this up. So you've opened up all the things that are really important. And you see where it says external file? Click load, then go to the motion etc. pack, and boom, all of his animations are there. So um, we're gonna turn off his bones for now. Oh, whoops. We're going to turn off his bones for now. Give me one second. Sorry about that. I'm having some allergies right now. Anyway, open up. We're going to turn off his bones so we can take a look at him. Don't have to worry about anything weird. Let's see if we can get him to rotate. Dang it. Ugh. Anyway, uh, we're going to click... Uh, let's take a look at his run animation. Mm, that's a boring one. What about... Ah, let's 
Smash Attack. So we clicked it, press play, boom, you can see his entire... Oh, it's the start. Where's, here it is. You can see, like, the entire animation. Boom! And he's throwing out his Smash Attack. Um, all that's really important and really useful. So, like, let's say we wanted to edit it or change it. <coughs> Special error to for world max. I don't know what that does. That just didn't move at all. Um, let's change his... I don't even really want to change it. It's run animation, why not? We'll take a look at it. So, this is run animation. It's him moving. There, that, is, that does rotate him. Excellent. I thought so. So, boom. Now we've rotated him a little bit, but we're too zoomed in, so we're going to zoom out a little bit. Control, right click. Boom, now we're rotating him some more. So now you can check out what he looks like. Right click, move that back into the center. So now we can see his that animation again. <laughs> there he is, moving across the screen. Um, let's turn on his bones again so we can take a look at all this stuff. So if you click on a bone, you can't really move it. But if you click on run and you check out a frame, You know what? I don't really know what I'm doing right here. Here we go. Alright, sorry about that. Let's go to frame, alright, frame 76. Okay? So, if you were going to change it, you could like insert something, you could copy something, delete it. Um, I don't do a whole lot of this, mo this model editing, so if you really want some help, I'm going to leave a link to Wacka Alpaca's tutorial, which is going to show you a good job of how to do this. All I know is that I can do it. I'm looking forward to learning how. Um, anyway, this is just the basic stuff of Brawlbox. Um, I'm going to close that up. And I think that really covers it all for today. So uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll see you guys later.